My name is Gina Tresamani, and we are here at PS7's restaurant in Washington, D.C. And I am the StarChefs.com Rising Star Mixologist for 2010. So today we're going to be making the Royal Thai, which is inspired by Tum Yam Soup, which is my favorite soup ever. And we're going to be using my Bar Boss Advance, and we're going to be setting this drink on fire. So let's get started. So we're gonna start off with a little bit of lemongrass, and then we're gonna use Thai chili. We're also gonna be using cilantro, about a cup of sugar. We're gonna be using one ounce of fresh ginger, 13 ounces of Thai coconut milk, and I really like the Thai coconut milk because it's a lot smoother in texture and it's got a lot more flavor and less water. Speaking of water, we are gonna be using DC's finest, a little bit of tap water in there, about seven ounces. So the first ingredient we're gonna use is our lemongrass. I'm gonna show you the proper way of actually using lemongrass. You don't want to actually cut it, you want to take it and you want to mash it. A proper chef would probably use the back of their uh, knife, but I'm going to cheat and use a mallet. So here we go. When it's good and mashed like that, you're going to take your knife and you're going to cut off the little butt because you don't need it. And we're going to just cut it. And we're going to take this and we're going to put it into our pot. And then a cool fact about chilies are is that you might think that the larger chai chili is the hotter and you won't have to use as much, when usually the small guys are the hottest. A good way to test a, thai, a chili or any chili that's for the heat is to cut off the tip, you put it on your tongue, and you tip it there, and you can actually taste what the difference in the heat is, and you can adjust your recipes accordingly. So we're gonna take one chili, and we're gonna give it a rough chop. You don't have to really be worried about chopping it up too finely, because we're gonna put it through our Bar Boss Advance, and it's gonna give it a really nice smooth texture when we're done. We're gonna take that one ounce of cilantro, again, right in the pot, and then we're gonna use one ounce of ginger and again, with just a nice rough chop. We're gonna put that in. So we're gonna put one can of the Thai coconut milk, and then we're gonna add our water, seven ounces. And now we're gonna add our sugar just about a cup, we're gonna pour it in, and then we're gonna turn the heat on, and we're gonna give it a little bit of a stir, combine all those ingredients, and you wanna bring this up to a boil, and then after it boils, for a little, uh, comes up to a boil, you wanna lower that heat to a simmer for about four to five more minutes. Don't worry if your ingredients doesn't look soft enough to you, because we're gonna take care of that in our Bar Boss Advance. So about four minutes has passed now, so we're going to take our Bar Boss top, open it up, so very carefully, you're going to pour it in. And you see all the lemongrass and all that good stuff is in there. Give it a little tap, make sure that you have everything. So we're gonna put this on top in place. Open it up, get a bowl. We're gonna use the chenois, which is a fine mesh strainer. Put it over the bowl, and we're gonna pour our mixture in. Now we're gonna take our mixture, we're gonna put it in the refrigerator, and chill it down for about an hour. So now we're gonna get down to business. We're gonna make our royal tie. But first I wanna go through the ingredients. We have Domaine de Canton, which is a ginger liqueur from France. Plymouth Gin, which is a dry, London dry gin. We also have our mixture that we just made of the coconut and cilantro, ginger, and Thai chili. And then we have a little bit of 151, which is the El Dorado. So we're gonna use it to set our drink on fire. First, we're gonna start with our Royal Thai mixture. We're gonna do three ounces. Then we're gonna add our Plymouth Gin for one and a half ounces. Then we are gonna take our Domaine de Canton for one ounce. And then we're gonna squeeze some fresh lime juice. No matter what anybody says, there's no substitution for fresh ingredients. 
So we're gonna put one ounce in there. So that's just about one line, but sometimes they're a little bit smaller or larger, so you still wanna measure. And we have an ounce. And we're gonna pour that in. And now we're gonna add our ice. I'm gonna about double the amount of the liquid. I know it looks kind of silly, but that's how you're gonna make it really stand up. So you wanna make sure that your lid's on tight, you wanna make sure that your setting's in low, and then you're gonna start your blender. Take it off. Get a coupe glass. You might need a spoon, so I would have one handy. And we're gonna pour it in. So it's nice and icy and refreshing. So now here comes the fun part. So now that we have the ice and it's all in there, we're gonna take our lime that I hollowed out earlier. We're gonna put it in the side of the glass, just like that. We're gonna add about a half a shot of the Eldorado 151. We're gonna pour it in. We are going to set it on fire, because who doesn't love a fire truck? So now we're gonna finish it off and we're gonna add a little bit of cinnamon. And that is the Royal Thai. Cheers.